15.6F, Complex Numbers, Rationalize Binomial Denominators. Similar to other radicals, we can rationalize a binomial that has complex numbers or i's by multiplying by the conjugate. Remember, the conjugate looks exactly the same, only the sign is different. Let's foil these together and see what we get. We get a squared minus abi plus abi minus b squared i squared. The middle two terms drop out, as should always happen when you multiply conjugates. You get a squared minus b squared times a negative one, which gives you a squared plus b squared. As you can see, the i dropped out. So let's see how this works when we're rationalizing denominators in example one. Here's example one. As you can see, there's an i in the denominator. Since there's more than one term or a binomial, we need to multiply by the conjugate. This means we multiply by two plus five i on both the numerator and the denominator. We distribute through on the top, giving us eight i plus twenty i squared, and on the bottom, we get four plus ten i minus ten i minus twenty five i squared. Now we replace a negative one for each of the i squareds, and also the middle terms drop out, as should always happen with conjugates. This gives us eight i minus twenty over four plus twenty five, which gives us a final answer of eight i minus twenty over twenty nine. Let's look at example two. Here is example two. Once again, we will need to multiply by the conjugate, or three minus five i in both the numerator and the denominator. Now we need to FOIL both the top and the bottom. This gives us twelve minus twenty i minus six i plus ten i squared. And in the denominator, we get nine minus fifteen i plus fifteen i minus twenty-five i squared. Let's now replace the i squareds with negative ones, and also the two terms in the denominator in the center both reduce out. Now we have twelve combining like terms gives us negative twenty-six i minus ten all over nine plus twenty-five. We now combine like terms with the twelve and the ten to give us two minus twenty-six i over thirty-four. Now we need to see if anything divides out. There's a two in common on the top, which gives us two and then one minus thirteen i, and on the bottom is a thirty-four. We can now reduce, two goes into two once and into thirty-four seventeen times. So we get our answer of one minus thirteen i over seventeen. This is our final answer. Remember, when you're rationalizing binomial de denominators, that you just multiply both the numerator and denominator by its conjugate, and then solve as usual.